Okay, so in this video, I'm going to go over the painting palette to do the eyes. These are acrylic paints. They're different brands. I just picked them up in my local craft store. The first one is a metallic gold. The second one is metallic green, metallic blue, regular brown, white, and this is a darker metallic brown. And the other products I'm going to be using is a glaze base. And what this does is it transforms acrylic paint into a faux finish glaze. This is going to make the paint translucent. So if you don't have the Delta Ceram, Ceram coat in your area, which most uh, Michaels and the other craft stores have, uh, you can get something else that uh, gives you a faux uh, glaze finish and that'll work also. And then the other thing that makes the uh, paint blend a little bit a little bit more and also extends the drying time a little bit is called a blending gel. This one is by Folk Art, uh, but uh, they all of them have a similar product, so you just get the one that's available in your particular area. And then at the end, we're going to be um, after we're done painting the eyes, we're going to paint a coat of gloss varnish on top. This one is by Liquitex and this is going to give the eyes a very glassy look which makes them more realistic. So that's our painting palette and let's talk about the brushes. Now a lot of times I'm painting, excuse my fingers, I paint all over them. Um, when I'm painting, I'm usually painting very small eyes because I normally do very tiny dolls, seven inches or less. So what I have done is I have taken, taken the smallest liner brushes that I can find at my local stores and I have cut them down into various sizes. The smallest one has only a few bristles on it and this one I use to, you know, get into those tiny little places that I need to get into. So there's nothing fancy. They're not the most expensive brushes on the market, but they all work for me. So you might want to get a couple of um, liner brushes. You might be lucky enough to live by a, uh, a very large art store that maybe has brushes this tiny that you can just simply purchase. Anyway, those are the brushes that I use, and next we'll begin to demonstrate how to paint the eyes.